Hello all, this is Sandeep, recording a video after a very long time. So today I'm going to talk about a brand new M function that was recently launched. In fact, it was just launched a few days ago. It's called table.addRankColumn. As the name suggests, it lets you create a column, a rank column in Power Query. So note that this we are working with a Power Query, not DAX. In DAX, you can use the rank ek function to create uh, ranks based on a measure um, and then it, it, it creates these ranks dynamically for you. Whereas in this case, we will be creating a rank in Power Query uh, based on column or number of columns that we specify. So I am in Power Query and then we are going to work with a very simple table. The first uh, column, I have products, product A, B and C then color for each respective uh, product type and then I have some units. What we want to do is we want to create a new column called rank column which will create rank based on um, in this case let's keep things simple based on um, an ascending uh, values of the units column meaning the 600 that you see at the top of uh, bottom of the table uh, the 600 should be at the top um, and then followed by that, the number that comes next, which I think would be 1513. Um, and at the bottom of the column should be 15,000, which should have a rank of 12. So let's see how we can do that. So the table dot add rank column, the, uh, the parameters that you need to specify are the table as table. Um, the name of the column and then the comparison criteria. So let's take a look at it and how it works. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on uh, this FX to create uh, and then uh, create a new function or to add a new um, query here, query step rather. So I'm going to click on add step here. So this is the last step that we created, change type. I'm going to highlight that and then wrap it in a nice bracket and let's drop table rank and then I am going to call what is the name of the column that we want to add here so it's called let's say rank and then what is um, the, the name of the column that we want to use uh, for for the ranking. So we, are go, we want to create the rank column based on the values that are in the units column. So let's specify that. And let's just zoom in a little bit here. And then you will see that I'm doing table dot rank column, the name of the last step, the name of the column that we want to create, and then uh, the units just notice that I have the units in curly the curly brackets that just specify it is a uh, list um, you can specify more than one column if you want to so let's say you have units and sales you can do units comma slay sales and then uh, do it based on that so let's just go here and then click on this button and then you will see as expected we have this rank column so we have rank 600 and then 1513 and then at the bottom of the row it's 15,000 um, and the value is 12. We can specify if we want to do it ascending or, or descending. Um, what I would suggest you do is you can look at this uh, and then so basically we can do order dot descending or order dot ascending right. So in our case, we can specify, I want this to be order dot descending or ascending. So I meant descending. So let's go tape order dot descending and then when you click on OK. Now we have 15,000 uh, that's at the top and then 600 is at the bottom. But what I wanted to show in this video is instead of right now, this is like a global rank. So we have it's it's looking at all the values. Instead, what I want is I want to create the ranks for each subgroup, meaning for product A, I want to create one, two, three. Um, and then for product B, create a rank within uh, product B. 
and then create again rank uh, that should start at one um, and then look at all the values that are specific to uh, that subgroup okay so let's take a look how we can do that there is no direct way of doing that essentially you can think of it as our partition uh, partition over that you use in sql right that's exactly what we're trying to do here you can do that by let's first apply a group by so we'll apply a group by and want to create a group by by let's call this name as group and then instead of we don't have a rank here so we have some average median but we don't have a rank so instead we will create it by all rows and then click on okay before i click on okay just want to zoom in so we have product you can name it whatever uh, name you want for the new column and then the operation is all rows right so click on that so this generated uh, two columns so we have product uh, which is what we grouped by and then a second column uh, which has a table as uh, these field values, right? And what we want to do for each of these individual tables, we want to add a column, a uh, rank column for each of these subgroups, okay? And we can do that easily by essentially using the exact same with just a, a small tweak. I'm going to go to uh, add column and then custom column. And then what do we want to do? We want to call this as a rank column and then table rank. The trick here is that we would usually when we create, uh, when we use a custom column, you specify which column. Uh, in this case, we are not going to do that. What we want to do is we want to use the group. So we'll use the group, right? And then I'm going to call it a rank column and then we want this to be the by units right and then we will close it so let me zoom in so we have rank table dot rank column group rank and then units so what we are essentially saying is that hey power query go to each row in the group and then for within that group create a new column called rank based on the units column right so let's click on ok and then when we click on this you will see that it created this one two three four if we go to the next one uh, one two three now we don't need this group anymore so let's just remove that I'm gonna click on these two uh, arrows, the, the the bunny ears, and then click on this. We don't need a product. We already have that column, and then click on OK. And now you will notice that we have for for uh, A, we have one, two, three, four, and then same thing for B, one, two, three, four, five, and then product C is one, two, three. So this way you can create a subgroup ranking uh, in the Power Query, which is very, very powerful. Uh, one thing that I should note here uh, that I noticed is when you create these uh, rank columns um, in Power Query, first of all, it is not foldable. So be aware of that, that if you do create it, it should be um, as late as possible in your query steps so that you can take uh, full advantage of um, query folding. And then second is that notice that as soon as, let me go one step up here and then you will see. So when I created uh, these columns earlier, let's go up here. So we have seven, six, five, three, and four, five, four, nine, right? Uh, but you will notice that as soon as these, uh, this rank column is created, it your column that you use for ranking purposes, it is always sorted. So it will not only create the rank, but it will also sort it by default. And I don't know if there is a way uh, for Power Query to, um, you know, to prevent that from happening because it could be an expensive operation um, and also based on what you're trying to do, uh, you, that may not be a desired effect. Um, so just be aware of that, that as soon as you create this rank column, 
Power BI sorts the column automatically for you. And as far as I know, um, there is no way to prevent it. Um, so just be aware of that uh, and be sure to test it if you're working with very large data sets. Be sure to test uh, it and see what are the performance implications. But otherwise, this is a really fantastic uh, function that's been added um, and it can be used in multiple different scenarios. So hope you liked it and you use it. Uh, please subscribe to my channel and like this video. Thank you.